All right, we are officially entering into the lights. Just had a bit of a climb right now, so I'm a little out of breath, but I am very excited for today. It is the start, the most difficult section of the trail, and uh, also the most beautiful. So I can't believe we're already here. It seemed like forever uh, until we were gonna get there, but now it's here. So we're hiking up Musalak. It's our first 4,000 foot peak in quite a while and the first one in the Northeast in New England. So uh, should be quite the climb. It's uh, gonna be a good day, I'm excited about it. I think tomorrow, today and tomorrow should be nice weather. We'll be getting into Lincoln afterwards. But uh, yeah, we'll get into Lincoln tomorrow evening and uh, we should be able to wait out a storm that following day. And yeah, we're just praying that we will have some nice views. It's a little overcast right now, foggy, but I think it's gonna burn off in the afternoon, so. So I just checked the elevation, and today I think we're going 4,000 feet in like five miles. So uh, it's like a thousand foot grade per mile, which, uh, whew, it's gonna be, gonna be, pretty steep to say the least for many miles. It's it's definitely gonna take us two, three hours to get up to the top of Musalak. And this is after doing almost 1800 miles, which today we will pass through the 1800 mile mark. I believe it's probably near the summit of Musalak. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. We've got less than 400 miles to go to Katahdin. These last few weeks are just gonna fly by, I already know it. It's kind of sad. I'm gonna miss my trail family and my friends that I've made on this hike so far. We're all gonna end up doing our own thing and going back home and being with our families. But the uh, memories and the time that we spent together, it's gonna last a lifetime. I know that for sure. All right, hiking up Mount Moose Lock. It's very steep. But it's been pretty cruisy. I've got a lot of energy today, so making my way pretty quick. I got like one and a half more miles left. Hopefully get it done in like 45 minutes. We'll see. Well <laughs> Check it out. 1800 miles. Whew. I believe it. <laughs> All right, almost the summit. It's definitely a bit of a climb. This little part's pretty flat, which is nice. Kind of up above Alpine. Uh, and uh, it's kind of on the ridge, so fortunately it doesn't seem like I'm gonna have any views. It's definitely a lot of cloud coverage here, but uh, it's still fun to climb. It, uh, it was tough, but not nearly as bad as I was expecting. I, mean, I definitely still probably made it up in two miles per hour, uh, less than three hours, or right at about three hours of a climb, so. I will say this as a through hiker, it will never get old just blowing right past day hikers. It's a, a little bit of a reward we get when we realize just how much we have grown and how strong we've got as hikers. It's fun. <laughs> All right, we are getting close to the summit of Mount Musalak, above tree line now. Pretty cool. Oh, All right, so Moose Lock was definitely worth the hike up. Very beautiful. Uh, luckily, we did get a couple nice views. The fog kind of burned off a bit and uh, blew out. So yeah, now we're heading back down. I think it's three miles down on the other side. I hear, hear that it's very, very steep and difficult. So it uh, might be an interesting hike down, but yeah, this got me super excited for the lights. I know we got uh, like five more climbs or something. Something around that, uh, big climbs coming up. But uh, this was apparently the easiest of them all, but just got me excited to uh, get through the rest of them. All 
All right, so this has been crazy dangerous. These rocks are super steep and they are super slick. Uh, I think I'm down pretty much to the bottom now though, thankfully. But yeah, no joke. There's a reason why people say your mileage slows down is because you got to really be conscious about every single step you're taking uh, when you're out here. Otherwise, very easy to slip and hurt yourself. So, but it's been really cool. I'm going down. Uh, the path has been kind of following this waterfall. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday was a difficult day. Did like 6,000 feet of elevation. 13, 14 miles was not, mileage was very low. And uh, I had heard that coming into the White Mountains. They say, don't base your days off of mileage, base your days off of elevation. And I totally understand that now because it was very, very slow day. We put in a solid full day. We barely made it 13, 14 miles and I was, exhausted i fell asleep almost immediately when i got to camp but uh today i only have to do 12 miles and it's only like 3,000 feet of elevation which is great except the terrain is so slow i think i've been going only like a mile an hour right now so far in the morning because there's so many rocks and roots and boulders that you have to navigate around that it takes quite a while to finally get uh, a little bit of a, a pace going. So yeah, so hopefully today will be a good day. We're gonna go try to get into Lincoln. It's supposed to rain in the kind of late afternoon, three or 4 p.m. So hopefully I can get in before that. And uh, I think we're gonna stay the night, do our full resupply. I'm very, very low on food. This is the lowest on food I've ever been going into a town. I've got, got one ramen and chicken packet, and then I've got a uh, Snickers bar and a granola bar. So not a lot. Hopefully there are no issues or hiccups. I end up getting stuck out here for any longer than what I need to. So I don't like being this slow on food, but uh, earlier today I did take a little tumble down a boulder. So just gotta be careful. Uh, thankfully I did not get injured. Hurt my finger a little bit when I went to catch myself. And I scraped my knee up a little bit, but that was it, so not bad. All right, here we go. About to head up Kinsman. I've heard it's a very difficult ascent. It's kind of like rock climbing, so we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get up and over. Been climbing up this for almost a mile now. Whew, it's a lot. All right, finally see the top of Kinsman. Took about two hours and boy, it was quite a climb. You're definitely on all fours doing rock scrambles almost the entire way up. It was uh, it was pretty intense, but it was fun. It was cool. And we got this awesome view. I believe we can see Franconia Ridge, which we should be going over, I believe tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely worth the hike up. There should be some really nice views coming up. All right, so finally made it to Trailhead. Today was absolutely exhausting. I think we only went like one mile an hour, but we did our 10 or 12 miles, whatever it was. Gonna hitch into town in Lincoln, get a spot. I think it's supposed to rain overnight, so I'm glad we're gonna be in town. But uh, after that, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting a ton of McDonald's. I don't know why, it sounds so good right now. I'm gonna eat like 5,000 calories of McDonald's. Is it just me or do people in... Hey, good morning, everyone. So, not sure if I did a sign off last night, but we were absolutely beat. We only did like 12 or 13 miles. 
But the whites are no joke. The elevation is absolutely insane. And the trail is very difficult. So many rocks and roots. It's slippery, even when it's not raining. It's just the, the rocks have so much condensation on them that uh, I ended up taking a couple spills yesterday even just because it was so bad. But today, I think the goal is to go 10 miles. We have like 3,500 feet of elevation straight out the gate with a full food pack now. We uh, went into a small town of Lincoln and uh, did our resupply there. We also stayed at a kind of a secret hostel ran by a gentleman named Chet, who he was awesome. He basically just runs this out of his house, allows hikers to stay in some bunks and uh, very, very kind. It was donation based. So great guy. And uh, I would highly recommend you need to kind of get his number off a of far out or gut hook because uh, it is not actually listed anywhere uh, just because it is kind of a down low place. But guy was uh, really knowledgeable on the hikes in the area. So highly recommend it. And Chad, if you're watching this, thank you very much for your hospitality. We uh, got a hitch back to the trail by a couple that was from my hometown of Dallas, Texas, or kind of where I'm from. And uh, they had attempted a through hike in the past uh, before. So they knew what we were going, we were doing. So I kind of them to pick us up and take us to the trail. So 10 miles today, some of our group decided to do a zero. Some decided to only do two miles up to the top of Franconia Ridge. And a few of us are gonna attempt the 10 miler. So let's see. is amazing all right so i just got done with franconia ridge and wow that was incredible that was one of the coolest sections of trail so far very happy that we caught out on a very clear day we could even see mount washington it was amazing so now we got like four more miles to get down to the shelter and uh it is almost six o'clock so definitely going to be doing some night hiking but that's all right it was worth the time up there and getting up there a little later in the day so we could get some awesome views so Hey, good morning. So, got a little bit of a late start here today. It is freezing cold. Uh, we had some rain overnight and that brought in some of the cold weather. It's probably in the low 40s right now. And uh, I think that's gonna be the high for the day, unfortunately. Uh, so, now that we're hiking, it's not so bad, but getting out of camp was pretty difficult. But we're gonna try to go 15 miles today. It's actually gonna be Quite a bit of downhill luckily we got only two big climbs and uh, i think it's like 3500 feet of elevation so should get us kind of to the base of mount washington which that'll be fun to get up and over i think we are only maybe about two days away from being done with the whites which is pretty incredible but it'll definitely be a difficult next couple days so so this this is not a water source this this is the trail you got a, got a nice little stream flowing through it. This is today one of the summits. We are definitely socked in here. Can't see much of anything, unfortunately. That's all right. I'll keep moving. All right, so it is near the end of the day. At this point, I'm just looking for a good site to set up camp wherever I can find one. Uh, today was, a, I think we only made like 11 or 12 miles today. So we definitely fell short of our goal of 15. Uh, I am just, well, running out of time, running out of daylight, but also I'm just sore. My foot is killing me. I had a couple bad slips where I kind of hurt my ankle or agitated it and so, Hoping that's not super swollen tomorrow, but yeah, it is, it is not feeling great today. Uh, yesterday wasn't feeling great either, so hopefully tomorrow is a little bit better, but the rocks have just been killer, 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 but oh well. Hey, good morning, everyone. So last night had to have been one of the funniest times on trail. So we get to camp and uh, start making dinner, set everything up, 
and it's cold, so we decide to make a fire. And we're hanging around the fire, and after dinner, we go ahead and put everything away. So I just oh, kind of step down. We, uh, we, uh, this funeral group put their earth sacks up and hang them near a tree, and we're sitting there hanging out by the fire. I decided to go to bed, and as I'm just getting into my tent, uh, I start hearing the folks that are at the fire start yelling at a bear. And I get out of my tent and look around, and as you can see, you can see the two little eyes out in the out in the woods just past the firelight there. And uh, we, we make it, chase it away. It comes back a little while later, chase it away again, comes back. So all of us decide, all right, we gotta go hang our food. Folks with the earth sacks though, decide that they don't need to hang it. They just are gonna leave it up on the tree within, you know, a striking distance there. And so wake up in the morning and one of the guys in our group, his, uh, his bear bag got, um, eaten or got, got a lot of his food got smashed and chewed on so unfortunate for him but it was so funny watching everyone react to the bear and try to get it away and start yelling at it and dealing with it it was just one of those moments that was very bonding it was very funny and we all just had a great time and of course all of us were sleeping not great because we're all a little really concerned that the bears are going to come back into camp but that was the first time with a bear encounter. It's been almost 1800, over 1800 miles. I guess we're at like 1850 or something. First time that I actually had a bear come into camp or even see one on trail, but I don't know. I just had such a fun night last night because of that. It was really funny, but yeah, today um, we're doing like, I think trying to do like 12-ish again miles. We're probably going to get to the base of Mount Washington, set up camp there, and that way we can summit early in the morning. Hopefully we have nice clear day tomorrow so we can get some awesome views but yeah loved uh loved the bonding last night and uh hopefully today is another great day so <laughs> All right, so we have begun our ascent up to the ridge of Mount Washington. I think it's three miles, a couple thousand feet, so very steep. We'll get up to the ridge line for a while. Still quite a bit of elevation up and down while I'm up on the ridge line, but we will separate this over two days. We'll get up to the ridge line. I think we had six miles today for setting up camp. And tomorrow we'll go up and over Washington and then get down below the tree line, set up camp again. And then the following day should be an easy little coast into town. There's Gorham that's coming up next in New Hampshire. And that'll pretty much complete our time in the Whites. I think we got like 10 more miles or something. We'll knock that in a day and it's not a ton of elevation. So, whew, it's exciting, it's difficult, but this is awesome. This is what you come out here for. This is what you hike the, hike the AT for. Yep, we gotta climb up all this, this little rock scramble. <laughs> 